Sweet. Hey, everybody. Jonathan Hawes. I'm here with Mr. Shimwrecker Enterprises. What up? And I want to have a little quick chat. Uh, recently, he has no longer been with Team Storm. Yep. And he's currently in his arsenal throwing some motive stuff. Yeah. So I'd like to talk a little bit about the motive stuff that he has in his bag currently and what he's maybe possibly looking at in the future and what he's thinking of the stuff. So I'm going to yeah. turn this over to you, James. Okay. Um, Let's start with the uh, Venom Shock. Yeah, I mean, it's it's been in production for what, seven years? -ish? Yep, Something like around that, that, that so number, yep. A, a, lot of, a lot of time. Um, yeah, so I guess, kind of I'm going to kind of rewind a little bit, mm -hmm. actually, kind of explain what kind of okay. drew me to go to free agency in the first place okay. is I've been like, I felt like I was getting six too much, okay. honestly, through transition. Right. And just like fighting my angles and just everything getting too steep and too mm -hmm. quick on friction. Right. Um, so I just kind of I felt like I needed to you know, do, do myself at least a service of giving some other stuff a shot. Absolutely. Yep. And so I drilled, uh, started this experiment about a month ago. Mm -hmm. uh, I drilled a ghost and a shock. Okay. So you're kind of, I feel like, you know, if I'm going to drill some smoother stuff, then those are two of the best out there. Those are kind of y'all's trademark balls, so yeah. to speak. So, purple. Yeah, purple, purple ball strike. Purple motive balls. Um, yeah, so the 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 two are solid. I'm going to kind of compare them, to, compare to storm stuff because that's kind of what I've what I've known right. for the last three years. Mm -hmm. um, I see a lot of like nano pearl plus phase two in okay. the venom shock, okay. um, but it's I did drill my shock pin down, so I wanted it to be really really smooth and continuous yeah. down, like, yeah. but okay. still roll through the pins. Right. Um, it's not as good on the fresh as I thought it would be, honestly. Like it's it's a little faster than I thought it would be, thought it would be so on it, friction, yeah, especially on the fresh. Yep. But, and this is where it's absolutely blowing me away, is through transition, like, I can, because the way I throw the ball, I need to play the puddle. Right. And I, like, find ways to kind of get my ball to read the puddle but blend it mm -hmm. and not play on top of the mm -hmm. friction. Because if I do that, then that's when I get into trouble right. reaction-wise. Now, um, you also, so. not to, just to backtrack a little bit here. Yeah. You've also got one of our newer balls in your bag. I do. Uh, I have a couple of them, actually. You have a uh, ripcord um, velocity? Got a velocity. Um, got a, well, I guess let's... And an affliction. Yes. Right. Uh, actually, okay. let, let's talk through, so... Let's talk about the velocity a little bit. Uh, I'm still learning that ball, honestly. Okay. Um, okay. I got nine with it a lot today, but I think cleaner covers are just not the play for me on this. But that ball um, hooks a lot. It, it hooks... Mine hooks a decent amount, but mm -hmm. it, it's blendy, but really, really continuous down lane. Now, have you changed the surface? I've touched it with the 2000 pack, okay. but I'm still, I still want to kind of crack the surface a little See, more. I have currently still left mine it. with the box shine on it. Okay, it, it just feels too far down the lane it, for me. But it, it does my, get, it does my get fatal done. is still a factory surface, mm -hmm. but I'm using that just as my like need to stand on top of the dirt and everything else looks too early. Right. That's okay. that's that's what that ball's set up for okay. me, so it works really well. Uh, and then, the other one you have? Um, so I've got a uh, I've got a um, orange ball. You got the affliction. Venom recoil. Venom recoil. recoil. Yes, I've got a recoil yes. at home. Um, that's one that I'm still kind of learning a little bit too. It feels. Uh, to use another storm analogy, it feels very speckish. It yeah. uh, doesn't read the fronts a ton, but yep. it really blends down lane. Yep. Uh, mine has a slower layout on it than yours does. Mm -hmm. So I just kind of, I think I need to get a few more games on the cover, right. but right. as I'm getting games on it, it's getting better. Good. Um, and then the, the VIP Affliction is one that I wasn't sure about. Mm -hmm. And I already, I, I use it to win the Southeast uh, Heavyweight Belt in UVA. Right, congratulations weekend. on that again, Thank by you. the way. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I mean, I've got two more blanks at the house already. Fantastic. And they've been financed by money that I've won from can't beat that right yeah exactly so it's been it's still it's just a learning process yeah, absolutely. Um, it's definitely a little bit of a kind of a change in the metagame of how I manage friction right but I mean, you know obviously I had a few rough games today yeah. but even that is like most of my bad shots were nine, eight, yeah. eight and nine counts on makeable stuff right and like yeah I track everything in pen pal on my phone my nine are better rate of skyrocketed good so. so just on all the stuff you've thrown currently in our line yeah that whether it's with us or not with us, which would be the afflictions, technically it's done. So, ish, yeah. um, ish yes. Um, you can still get them, but it's a little tougher now. Let's grade it on a scale of one to 10. What would you think? Of uh, just an individual ball or the overall? Just overall, your thoughts transition. on everything you've thrown? Oh, it's been fantastic. Good. Yeah, That's what I like to hear. I've been blown away. Um, you have a favorite one? <laughs> Venom Shock? Probably, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the shock, shock, I mean, it's, it's the goat, man. I guess. Should I say Shocker? He could, I guess. I'm not going to argue against it too much. But um, yeah, the shock's been a lot of fun. Um, the affliction is one that I have a hard time putting down, honestly. Good. Um, Good. And I, how do you I have really that? Like, Where do you have the pin on that one? Uh, so most of my most of my symmetrics are actually pinned down, pinned down. that I've drilled from y'all. Yeah. Um, affliction is four and a half pinned down. Uh, same setup on the uh, velocity as that. So both they're mm -hmm. both four and a half down. Yep. The shock is shock and the fatal are both four inch down, and the ghost okay. is five inch up. Okay. So. Well, good. 
Yeah. We just got done bowling a tournament here in Springfield, Missouri at Enterprise Park Lanes. Uh, shout out to the owners and management here. They were fantastic hosts. The bowling was up and down. The experience of being here um, was fantastic. Exactly. So they, they they clearly get how to run a bowling center for bowlers here. And, and it is awesome a nice experience. open bowling center. Yep. Lots of room for lots of bowling balls because there's a lot of them around here. Yep. For but sure. that's, uh, that's all I've got for now. Just wanted to have a little quick chat with Mr. Shimwrecker Enterprise yep. Enterprises here. Um, got anything else to finish off? I gotta hop on a plane and get back to Raleigh tomorrow. There you go. Well, thanks for hanging out yeah, with us this absolutely. weekend. Yeah, thanks that's fun bowling with you, man. Absolutely. Anything else before you take off here? Uh, nope. All right. So, that's well, all I got. Thanks for watching and get motivated. Yeah. Peace.